my problem. Got a road while this was a good race. I'd like to thank Graham and everyone. Can you do my bike? Back to the bikes now, and in the open category, the season-long battle for the championship between Gary Peterson and Ian Topless would come to a head. You're riding with some very sore ribs today after a crash a few weeks ago. Is that going to have any influence on your race today? Um, not, not really. Um, I got uh, I had some bruised lungs, but um, there's no jumps there, so I'm not jumping up high like I would at motocross. Um, maybe if Gary, I think Gary knows I've got some sore lungs and ribs and stuff, so maybe Gary goes to me and tries to take me out. But I, I, I think from, from the last time when he, he and Ben done handlebars and stuff, so I think this time's going to be my choice. Peterson had one of his kamikaze starts again and pulled a gap right from the start. Greg Aspinall was second, ahead of Topless and Alan Julian. Topless, on his Elna Fox Kawasaki, had to recover from a bad start and had to get past Aspinall on his Panasonic Russell Campbell Racing Kawasaki as soon as possible. Alan Julian, on his Shell Racing Honda, goes wide and slingshots himself past Topless. Great manoeuvre. Peterson, racing away on his Team Brasco FMF Racing Kawasaki. Aspinall, still second, then Julian and now Gary Lipchik on his Pro Cycles Honda, is challenging Topless for fourth. All Peterson needs to do is stay on his bike and ahead of Topless, so the pressure's off him, but Topless has his work cut out for him, as he's being hassled all the way by Julian and Lipchik. Peterson takes a look, Aspinall takes a look, and all they see is three bikes on the limit. Peterson's almost in cruise mode as he simply holds station, not under any pressure from Aspinall, who's also keeping a wary eye on the battle raging behind him. It's Julian on the Shell Honda in third, then Topless on the Elna Fox Kawasaki, but Lipchik on the Pro Cycles Honda simply shoots past Topless. The Pink Panther man is up to fourth. Topless tries the slingshot manoeuvre, but has to avoid the mud and it doesn't work out for him. Topless is seeing his championship hopes fading fast as he battles to keep up with Julian and Lipchik. Let's see the gap. Peterson, then Aspinall, and there's Julian, Lipchik and Topless. The crowd asking themselves whether Topless has any chance. And that's Devet van Royen, whose KTM is another victim of the mud. Back to the front runners, and on lap seven, Alan Julian has brought his Shell Racing Honda much closer to the Panasonic Russell Campbell Racing Kawasaki of Greg Aspinall. Gary Peterson still has a comfortable lead on his Team Brasco FMF Racing Kawasaki, showing the masterful control that's made him a legend on two wheels. He still has time to look around as Aspinall's coming under heavy pressure from Julian. Ian Topless has moved ahead of Gary Lipchik into fourth on his Elna Fox Kawasaki, and the realization is probably dawning that he might have lost his challenge for the title. Lipchik on his Pro Cycles Honda has Ryan Hunt on the 500cc Shell Honda breathing down his neck. This was an interesting battle, with Lipchik and his passenger on a 250 machine and Hunt on his 500. The bigger bike had the advantage of more power on the straights, but the smaller machine is much more nimble around the tight sections of the circuit. Meanwhile, Peterson was starting to catch up with the back markers. Just watch the way he controls the bike. Some refreshment for the crowd in the hot weather, and on the last lap, nothing has changed as far as Gary Peterson was concerned. But behind him, Greg Aspinall still had Alan Julian to worry about. Peterson a long way ahead, and Aspinall. But he's down. He's just lost his rear wheel. Fortunately, Julian avoids him, but now Aspinall is down to third. It just shows how quickly things can change. Peterson up the hill for the last time, and he sees that Julian is up into second. Aspinall is furious with himself in third. Time to play, as the chequered flag is waiting for Peterson, who cemented his lead in the championship. Topless remained in fourth, but had to hope that something would go wrong for Peterson, while Lipchik dropped down to seventh ahead of Bloomfield. Yeah, Henrik, um, in the beginning I felt like I was going good, but the mud down the bottom there, you know, when it gets on the bike, it starts making the bike heavy and the bike gets slower and slower, you know. And I could see the other guys were catching me and I was trying to use different lines, but at this stage there's too much mud out there. Um, but I won the race, I'm pretty happy.